to really experience contentment, you need to count your blessings every day and thank the one who made them all possible. Our topic today, focus on what is above. Colossians 3 verse 2 Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. That was Colossians 3 verse 2. Today's society is saddled with the concept of instant gratification and acquiring more stuff, that is, wants. Do you know impulse acquisition of earthly things lose their appeal once the bill arrives and the interest on your credit card starts piling up? When that happens, blessings can turn into curses and rob you of the joy of living. Here is someone's thought. Materialism doesn't satisfy because it's tyrannical. Whereas, human beings were born to be free. We suddenly discover we don't own the house. The house owns us. Many are married to mortgages. Some become slaves to gadgets and garments, etc. All these, after they are purchased, delivered and installed, we enjoy a fleeting sense of pleasure. But they still dominate, dictate and demand. Press me, polish me, patch me, point me, prune me, plaster me. We spend our best years and the bulk of our money working for things until we have no time left to pursue life's really enjoyable vocations such as visiting valuable friends, having recreation with our family members, spending valuable time in church or fellowship, etc. Really, no time to do good deeds that give us the greatest inner joy. Paul says, Godliness with contentment is great gain. 1 Timothy 6 verse 6 To really experience that contentment, you need to count your blessings every day and thank the one who made them all possible. Beloved, assume there is an imaginary line dividing what you can see from what you can't see, the temporal from the eternal. Our objective in Jesus is to look upon the things above so we can understand that what we see and feel is not a full and accurate measurement of God's reality. People are eternal beings and decisions that seem insignificant now when seen in the fullness of reality are of eternal significance. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you meditate on and do those things that will always bring inner joy which is contentment to you, especially earthly things at our disposal. Our meditation today is taken from Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 to 21. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. For your Bible study, read Luke 17, Genesis 29 verses 1 to 30, and Psalm 22.